Hello. Hello. Uh, could you please give us a brief introduction to your company and what you do? Sure. Basically, we're Italian uh, manufacturers of pumps for all different water applications. Um, we've been operating now for 37 years. Our headquarters are in Italy, in Mestrino, near Venice. Um, but we basically are in charge of the UK branch and we sell direct to hundreds of customers in the UK that sell on to the end user. We've got about nine sales offices worldwide and we sell to about 150 different countries. And could you give us a brief description of the products and technologies you offer? The sectors and the products that we work in um, tend to be rainwater harvesting, so systems such as the aqua prof and the aqua switch. Uh, we manufacture swimming pool pumps, um, the Euro swim and Euro cover, so um, for filtration and also the cover um, pump basically collects rainwater on top of swimming pool covers. Um, we also manufacture sewage pumps, um, drainage pumps, um, what else? heating, circulators, that kind of thing. And what do you say uh, sets, apart, sets you apart from the competition? Well, because we're Italian manufacturers, all of our products are made with the highest quality um, materials, state-of-the-art technology. Um, so not only are we at the top for quality, but also um, in terms of price, we're very competitive. Excellent. Okay. And uh, where do you see the company and the products going in the next five to ten years? In the next five to ten years, um, we are focusing more and more on energy efficiency. For our circulators, they all have to become um, A-rated. From 2013, there's new legislation, for example, that says that all circulator products have to be um, A-rated in efficiency, so our Evertron will be coming um, into place in 2013. So, yeah, all installers have to abide by these, this new European legislation. So, yeah. Okay, lovely. And uh, just finally, what was the primary motivation for coming to the exhibition? Um, basically, just focusing on wastewater, our drainage pumps, submersible pumps, um, and basically to meet face to face with the customers to gain as many leads as possible and as many orders and it's an ideal opportunity for them to come and speak directly to us, the manufacturers, uh, about any technical queries or questions they may have. So this is a, um, a, a multi-pump variable speed booster set that can be used on many different applications for um, water supply and um, water treatment systems, for wash down systems and in the building services market for hotels, office blocks, that sort of thing. Uh, pumping from a tank where the incoming water supply is not enough for the system, uh, so it pumps from a stored water to the system at a pressure that's predetermined um, by the user and the pumps are sized according to the demand. So this unit in itself is a, um, a self-contained package pump station on a, a base plate with stainless steel manifolds with vertical multi-stage pumps which are RAS approved so they conform to the relevant uh, standards. Uh, they are stainless steel uh, wetted parts internally and each pump has an inverter so uh, each pump is controlled separately by its own inverter. We do do some systems where they have a one panel with one inverter that controls uh, the pumps on the system but in this case we have separate um, inverters that um, are used um, this is part of a range the biggest inverter we do of this type is up to 15 kilowatts it starts at 1.1 right through to 15 kilowatts and you can link them all together you can have up to an eight pump booster set so you can have a big set providing uh, a constant pressure at a varying flow right up to a very big flow. Um, each pump will will um, start in turn every time the system shuts down. So for example, when there's a demand, pump one will start. It will provide the water to the system. If the demand is not being met, i.e. the pressure continues to drop, then the next pump will start. And if the pressure continues to drop, then the next pump will start. Once all pumps are running to satisfy the system, then as the demand drops, the, the, each pump will start to shut down until you're back to one pump running again. 
Next time there's a demand, you get the next pump will start, and so on and so on, up to, like I said before, eight pumps. So it's a, it's a system that shares the load between the, uh, the usage of the pump. So you, you, you never get one pump that's running all the time uh, throughout its life. It shares the load. You can get up to 60% uh, energy savings with the usage of the inverter, which can obviously for the life cycle costs of the, of the, of the system can be uh, very, you know, very uh, beneficial uh, as to you know, how much it's going to cost to run it. Some of these motors, you know, in, in this instance, they're 15 kilowatt motors. You have eight 15 kilowatt motors. That's a big, a big demand on a, on a system, big energy cost. So to have variable speed is the way forward.